The Diamond Sutta is very clear. 一切有为法，如梦幻泡影，如露亦如电，亦错，如是空。These four stands out. They are very profound. They say 一切有为法 means all things are conditioned. They are like 如梦啊 ，dream 啊 ，illusion， 幻 ，bubble and shadow. The description is so beautiful. Is the dream real? Is an illusion real? Is the bubble real? Is the shadow that follow you real? This is what phenomenal world is all about. Everything within the conditioned world is each and every part. It's like dreamland, an illusion, shadow. Ah,、uh, sorry, bubble and a shadow. Zhu mo huan pao yi. Then zhu lu yi lu di. It's like the morning dew and a lightning flash. You know the meaning, right? Morning dew. How long does it last? And the morning sun rise, not long it will dry up. Then the other very fast one is like a lightning flash. Ah, zulu ilu tian chui. What? That's why I told you. Future yet to come, not reality. Past is already gone, also not a reality. So the present moment is will be reality. What are you doing? So a lot of people don't understand this. Yet they are busy thinking, planning, and worrying about life. They never live. But then, how stable is the present moment? It's just like a lightning flash. This moment you talk about it is gone. Split second is gone. That is what the moment is, and that is the only reality in life. So how real can it be? That's why it is empty, impermanent, not what you think. Do you see that? The only reality in life is the present moment, and how stable is the present moment? The moment you look at it or talk about it is gone. Then how real can life be? Understand? The only reality also like that. Then why you still grasp, cling, and hold and believe all these are real? That's why the wisdom cannot go in until you comprehend that, until you awaken to all this. That's why in the meditation, when I saw all this arising and passing away, then when I was in the deep stillness and silence, then I saw all the creation. Then I come to realize the nature never moves. Like the Thursday class, this is the host. The rest are the guests. That's why the condition world is a phenomenal world of consciousness, no reality. Dependent originating condition arising, causal phenomenon, no reality. It's not a permanent and changing entity. And from there, everything unfolds. The Buddha's teaching. Through the understanding, you don't worry about sainthood and arahant. Very fast you awaken. But because your mind is not trained, not silent, not still, not able to comprehend all this, not able to awaken to all this. That's why the true meditation is just silent. Ah, bring that photo out. I get some one. Oh, that one very good. Huh? Thank you. Can、huh? see, right? Huh? You no need to zoom. Huh? Need to zoom. Huh? Okay. Ah, focus. Can. Ah,、huh? zoom. Ah.、Huh? Can. Ah,、huh? uh, very good. Ah, come here. We can read together. He somehow go and look for this Buddha image.、Yeah. To meditate is to what? Silent your mind to be aware of the truth, the reality within the moment. He miss out within the moment. Aware of what is within your form and mind. It is through this awareness, which is beyond thought, beyond mind, that you can awaken. The deal. He got it from Sunday class.、Mm-hmm.
uh, I have been sharing this been many, many times from <laughs> some That's why meditation is silent, not actively using the thought to meditate. That is not meditation. Okay, we end. Huh?